Welcome to the All Plan Quick Start Lesson 2. In this brief lesson, we'll introduce the building structure. The All Plan building structure is the headquarters of your All Plan project. This is where you organize the model that you draw and information derived from the model, such as views, sections, and reports. You can also store imported information here, such as PDF or CAD files. Let's take a look at how to create a small building structure. For this example, we'll start with an empty all plan project. To do this, click on New Project Open Project. Ensure that Local is active, and then click on New Project. Enter Practice Building Structure as the project name, and below choose No Project Template. Then click Next, and finally click Finish to create the new all plan project. After creating the project, you will see the name of the new project above in the title bar. This project will only be used for this exercise in Lesson 2. All corresponding lessons will use the Quick Start project that you can download off our website. To access the building structure, click on the command in the title bar called Open on a Project-Specific Basis. Note that you can also double-click in the model space to open the building structure. When you first open this command, All Planner recognizes that the project does not contain a building structure. A wizard provides options for getting started. In most cases, you will choose manually create a building structure. All Plan opens an empty building structure window that we can now populate. The building structure is composed of two parts. The left side will contain project data that you model or import. The right side will contain information derived from the model, such as views, sections, and reports. For this simple exercise, we will focus on the left side. Here we will build up our small project containing a foundation, a second floor, and a roof plan. Start by right-clicking on the name of the building structure to ensure a new structural level. Think of structural levels as folders, like those you would create in Windows Explorer. All Plan offers different structural level types. Select any structural level. Click on this file and change the name to Imports. Here we can import data such as PDFs or CAD files. Right-click again on the building structure and this time add a building file type. Within this building, we can add the levels for our projects. Right-click on Building and insert a structural level called Story. Repeat this two more times for a total of three stories. Rename the stories Foundation, Second Floor, and Roof. Now we can add the drawing files into the stories. What exactly are drawing files? These are physical files where we'll be modeling the structure and elements. However, instead of having to open each file individually, all Plan stores all these files internally within the project. Every drawing file has its own unique and unchangeable number. Not only can you place different stories in separate files, but you can also subdivide stories and place elements on their own unique files. The ability to distribute the components of a building model to different drawing files is a very powerful tool that is unique to All Plan. The individual files can be independently turned on and off. This will make it easy for multiple people to work on the same project. Another benefit of this file structure is the increased performance because your computer only has to calculate and display parts of the model that you're actively working on. So let's go back to our drawing files. First, we're going to start by removing the default drawing files that were created by All Plan. Select All by clicking on the first, hold Control, and click on the last. Now right-click on the selection and choose Clear Drawing File Assignment. Now we can add drawing files to each story of our building. You can add more stories and files to the project at any time as needed. There are up to 9,999 drawing files available. To add drawing files, right-click on the story and choose Assign Drawing File. These can be added one by one or several at once. You can type in the numbers if you know them or use the selection list. Most likely, you will simply type in the drawing files that you want to add. For example, we can add 100 to 105 to the foundation. Now repeat for the other two stories. We can add 200 to 205 to the second floor, and 300 to 305 to the roof. Okay. 
you can determine how best to organize your drawing files for a given project. It can be useful to have the main floor plan in a single file. Then subsequent files for any additional items, such as 3D reinforcement in the framing members, miscellaneous framing, balconies, or even exterior framing. Anything that you may want to turn on and off easily, work in separate groups, or simply maintain separately can be put in its own file. For this reason, it can be good practice to add a few drawing files in each story as placeholders. You may not necessarily use all files in a given project. We cannot give the drawing files meaningful names. Click in the space next to the number and start typing. To start modeling in a drawing file, you can now double click on the number or the name of the file. This will open only that file and anything you model will be generated on that file. Another important aspect of your drawings are the elevations or floor planes. We can generate the elevations back in the drawing manager. Click on the command to open on a project specific basis or double click in the white space of the modeling window. Open the floor manager. Click on new model to begin. This dialog box will help you to quickly set up all the levels for your project. You can make changes later. Set the number of stories above 0 to 2 and the number of stories below to 0. This will create a simple two-story building with no basement. Set the elevation of the unfinished floor to 0. Under the height settings, we can quickly set up basic floor-to-floor -floor heights and slab thicknesses for the entire project. These can be individually modified once we've created the basic layout if there are different floor-to-floor -floor heights and slab thicknesses in your project. Set the value as shown on the screen. Note the slab thickness will be used for elevated slabs and the thickness of floor slab will be used for the slab on grade or ground floor slab. Note that you can do this prior to setting up your drawing files. By clicking on this checkbox, the program will automatically create the building structure with drawing files based on these elevations. We encourage you to try this on your own. Since we have already set up the drawing files, we can leave this box unchecked. You can now easily see, both in a tree list and graphical representation, the stories of your building. You can now make changes in either the list or the graphics by clicking and typing directly on the values provided. Once done, click OK to confirm and finish. Lastly, we need to assign the planes we just created to the building model. Any objects modeled on these files will then be associated with those elevations automatically. For example, a wall modeled on the foundation plan will span from 0 to 9 foot 2 by default. You can set the elevation for all files within the story by defining it at the top or individually for each file as appropriate by clicking on that file name. To assign a level, right click on the title of the story or file and choose Assign Planes. You can now select the top and bottom extents of anything modeled on this plane. Note that individual elements can still be modified within their own properties on a given level, so you can have elements on a single level that actually reference different planes. You are now ready to start modeling your project. We will get to know the derived objects, that is the sections, views, and reports, in the further course of the Quick Start project. Then you will see how easily such derived objects can be created and managed. That brings us to the end of Quick Start Lesson 2. In the next lesson, we'll look at importing files and working with drawing files.